Age Warriors 82, the Echo Arena, and we're alongside one of the top-ranked amateur prospects in the country, Liam Gittins, and you continue to prove it. Uh, talk us through this performance because it seemed first round it was a matter of feeling and out the second round was imposing the, the will. Yeah, that, definitely right on that. Uh, went in, took a few big shots, um, knew I'd lost the round, so I came in higher pace in the second round and tried to make things happen. And make things happen, you did. You know, there were there were some that criticize a little bit. That uh, he's a grappler, he likes to stay heavy, he likes to bury. That that hasn't been true. That hasn't no, been true. It hasn't been it's true not true. I think I think, I think it's a case that people fear the fact that when you get a hold of them, that top position for you is a position you don't give up at all. Mm. Does it frustrate you that? Perhaps still people look at you as a bit of a grappler and not a mixed martial um, artist? No, not at all. I say, call me a grappler all you want, but I've stood up with people, I've took to the floor with people, I've wrestled with people, and it's mixed martial arts. I'm not just going to do one thing all the time because I'll get beat by somebody. And I'm willing to stand with people. If you watch my Shadobi fight with Adam Wilson, I was asking him to get back up. So that's all you need, all the proof you need, really. Again, you're one of the top prospects in the country. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. And there's a few names that, that, that we can throw around with you. But what do you, what do you want next? Do you know? Are you, are you happy to keep sort of keep your name at the top of the amateur pile? Or are we looking for um, a pro debut sometime this year? I wouldn't say this year. I'd like to make sure I buy out all all areas before I go pro. I wouldn't like to go pro and think I've not overlooked a certain area and fall short. Uh, for now, I'm just moving on to the next fight each time, just training hard and. Uh, next in mind, I've got the Shinobi title, so I'm just like excited to get on that, really. Cage Warriors Academy, a, a fairly big deal for the amateurs, yeah, high yeah, exposure, massive, yeah. big venue. You'd come back for them? Definitely, 100% every time. Always back for them. <laughs> Look, Liam, it's always a pleasure catching up with you. I, I've, I've been saying this in a, in a few interviews recently. One of the things I find cool is that in the UK now, we're talking about our amateur prospects. Yeah. It's not just, you know, Michael Bisping and who yeah. people are talking about. Uh, what, what is it? What is it? You know, you have you're highly touted. And you've got to have you've got to have seen the press. You've got to have heard it. Now, how do you how do you keep kind of working hard when that pressure's on you to perform every time, even as an amateur? Um, I don't know. I just like I, I don't put that much stuff on the inside. I don't pay much attention to it. I just train hard, show up, and I do all my talking in the cage. That's Liam, the best way for it. Hey, Liam, it's been a pleasure watching you perform over the last seven or eight fights. I Thank can't you. wait to see you continue. Congratulations on a big win tonight. Thank you for your time, Thank sir. You.